a lot of times what we do uh, in marriage is we kind of expect perfection and sometimes just overly um, stay overly critical of our spouses and <clears throat> just kind of hold them to an unrealistic and unfair expectation. Um, and I'll say more about that in just a minute. First off, uh, just a few things. You have to, as a married person, you have to learn to accept your partner's flaws, imperfections, and failures. Let's kind of look at that. Um, flaws. There will be some things about them that are just maybe irritating, maybe they could do better in, and it seems like they just don't uh, care to address it. Like, for instance, um, some people have really messy uh, spouses, and, you know, you have to accept them with that. Um, that's just kind of who they are. Um, well, it's not fair that I should go around and, and pick up after them. Yeah, I mean, I, I get what you're saying. You know, you don't have to, you don't have to mother them. But at the same time, um, there has to be some kind of a communication and a dialogue where, where okay, this, um, this is what I would like. Well, this is what I would like. You know, okay, well, what about a middle ground? How can you make it where both parties are, are happy? Because a marriage isn't happy wife, happy life. A marriage is happy spouse, happy life. See, you don't want – the marriage shouldn't revolve around one person. Um, it should be a, a mutual thing. Unfortunately, sometimes, once again, um, maybe we mess up or maybe our spouse mess up, messes up either or, and one of us has to kind of pick up the slack for the other one. Um, sometimes this is a long time, sometimes it's just for a short time, whatever. Um, but either way, you have to accept your partner's flaws. Now, the next thing, accept your partner's imperfections, okay? Um, maybe, you know, maybe they have buck teeth, maybe they have, you know, love handles, maybe they have, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. Whatever it is about them that is not physically perfect, as you deem in your mind to be perfect, you have to accept them with those imperfections. And lastly, their failures. They're not going to do everything right. It's the same as you're not going to do everything right. And you have to cut them slack, and you have to accept that they're not perfect. That's frustrating because we like everything in boxes up here. But that's just not how it works. Um, one of the problems is that perfectionism really is all around us. You know, here's three very simple examples in pornography. Pornography, you know, they do the best to shoot the perfect sex scene of whatever. You know, just all kinds of different things. There, there's literally a porn made out of everything. There, there's actually an ongoing joke um, that... You know, if something exists, there's a porn uh, parody of it, and that's pretty close to the truth. Um, and the thing about porns is uh, they, they shoot for perfection. You know, they it takes them sometimes, you know, a week to shoot this scene that is supposed to depict, you know, an hour-long sex. Well, if you've ever had sex, you know it's nothing like that. Well, then you go into your into marriage. If you if you look at porn, you take that into your marriage, and you just suddenly are dissatisfied because your sex isn't perfect. Well, there's a few things with that. One, you shouldn't be looking at porn. <laughs> uh, two, you aren't the perfect sex partner either, so it's okay. And three, sex isn't meant to be perfect, so there's that too. But my point being that that perfection that we see in porn, we try and simulate it in our own lives. Another example: movies. You know, in movies, everybody looks perfect all the time. They wake up and they just look great. I mean, everything's just perfect all the time. They never mess up their lines. Uh, just go down the list of how it's all perfect. And it's so unrealistic. You know, the leading actress is always just drop-dead gorgeous. Uh, the leading man, male actor, um, he, you know, just perfectly toned muscles and just totally ripped and totally awesome. And, uh, you know, it, real world isn't like that. And you have to accept that your partner mar in marriage, perfection really has no place. You know, and then you see it in video games, too. You have uh, video games like The Elder Scrolls, where you can create this perfect character, and if you mess up, you can just reload a past save file, or you can, you know, remake your character. And there's something really um, 
uh, appealing to us about that. But the truth is, that's not really how life works, um, just in general. Um, we can't restart, we can't reload. Uh, you know, the choices that we make will follow us, there's no getting out of them. It's just, there's this world of perfection all around us where everybody thinks everything can be perfect and just can't. Um, you know, some of the things that people gripe about with a president, for instance, is a genuine complaint, and then other times they just expect them to be some kind of superhuman, as people always do of leaders. Um, I'm not trying to condone anybody here, I'm just talking about marriage. We do the exact same thing in our marriage, we, we kind of just excuse what we want to excuse, and then the things that we want to be big deals, well all of a sudden they are big deals. And if our partner fails to meet those expectations, we'll all just write them off. You know, um, especially guys, I want to hit on this again with porn, you know, you look at these pornos with the, with these women who just, they, they're just drop dead gorgeous, they look great. And then you look at your wife, who's maybe had five or six kids, and she's heavier and, 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 and older and wrinkles and all kinds of stuff, and it's just, it's hard to look past that. But the truth is, is that you have to accept them. That That's what love is. Um, you really have to find a place of not, not criticizing them for really everything that they do. Like, there has to be a point where you realize you're just being a negative person. That, that's it. Like you can't you can't make your spouse be perfect, and you can't um, help them to do better by criticizing everything that they do wrong or everything that they could have done better. You know, there has to be a point where you say, okay, look, I'm going to work on being a better spouse. I mean, even if something does need to be said, which normally does it really need to be addressed? Not not really. But let's assume that something does need to be addressed. Oftentimes, it doesn't have to be in a criticizing the picking way. You know what I mean? Like, maybe your spouse is kind of losing their temper with the kids. Maybe pull them aside and say, look, you're, let's, let's, let's just take a minute. Let's just take a minute here. You know, okay, all right. But it, if every time they do anything, you constantly criticize them and just pick it apart, it's like, you're not perfect either. And everybody has their own failures. And you don't really want your marriage to be based on... Um, that father-daughter kind of aspect where you constantly have to father uh, your wife or wives you don't want your marriage to be based on the idea of um, mothering him you know there has to be a point where um, you guys accept each other for your identity and find unity in that uh, your spouse is, is a per as a person, not your slave. They don't have to do everything that you want all the time. Like there, there has to be a point where, okay, enough is enough. Just kind of calm down. Um, and also, as a last point here, cut them the same slack that you would want. Um, you know, if 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 you want them to be gracious to you when you mess up, you should probably be gracious to them when they mess up. Um, you don't have to say, "See, I told you so." Just let it go. Just let it go. If 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 they mess up, hey, it's not a big deal. You know, if they're stressed out, eh, you know, calm them down. It's okay. It's all right. Let them be. Let let them know that you won't judge them for their mistakes, but that you'll help them work through it. Now, <clears throat> oftentimes your spouse won't want a quick fix. They'll just want you to hear. That's okay. That's all right. Remember, they're working through their own problems just like you're working through your own problems. <clears throat>